he telling her in the background, go in the house, go in the house. We were both telling her, no, don't, don't go in the go house. In and that's the thing though, she was like, ma, ma, and the phone hung up. Layla was shot several times this morning. Police say by Zeus's father. Layla was holding Zeus when it happened. He was also hit. He did get shot, like not grazed, he was shot. Outside the hospital where he's healing Layla's mother and sister. And we would say the only way we could get him away from her is if he's in jail. Tell us the man who killed her. But she was scared of him. She was in love with I'm him, afraid. but she was scared of him. Should have been in jail. There's no way that that should have slipped where seven felony bonds a person was out. And I feel like my sister's blood is on their hands. Every year we celebrate his birthday, we have to celebrate family. losing my sister. She died protecting him, and all she ever did was protect her son. Want the best for all she lived for was her son. This is the story of Layla Steele, a 24-year-old who was full of life whose friends and loved ones described as having a heart of gold. Layla was the mother of a one-year-old son and was eagerly anticipating her son's first birthday celebration. She wanted the day to be special since he was turning one. Sadly, Layla was in an abusive relationship with her child's father, who was out on seven felony bonds at the time, and who she also had a protective order against. On July 1, 2021, at about 10.30 a.m., Houston police received a phone call reporting gunshots at an apartment building. Officers arrived to find a horrific scene, and this tragedy would leave many asking how this could happen and why Layla wasn't protected. Welcome to Viral Crimes. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for more stories. This story takes us to Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas is a vibrant and diverse city located in the southern United States. As the fourth largest city in the country, Houston is known for its strong economy, with a large presence in the energy industry and home to NASA's Johnson Space Center. Houston is also recognized for its rich cultural scene, southern and international cuisine, and a thriving arts and music scene. Layla Steele was born on June 4, 1997, in New Orleans. Since she was 16 years old, she has been following her love for doing hair and her creativity by enrolling in cosmetology classes. On June 25, 2018, she was granted a Master Barber license by the state of Texas. She was very talented at doing locks and braids and would display her work on social media. She met a man by the name of Zuckayas Gaston. Like any other person, Layla was hoping this relationship would have a happy ending, but things would soon take a turn for the worst, especially after Layla gave birth to their son Zeus. Aston had become abusive towards Layla causing her to take a protective order out against him. Gaston was later charged with violating the protective order. Court records show Gaston was charged with assaulting Layla after he allegedly hit her in the head with a plastic bottle and threatened her with a gun during a dispute in September 2020. That case was dismissed by the court on June 29, 2021. Layla feared Gaston, but she was still in love with him according to her sister. The protective order would later be dismissed. She wanted Gaston to be a part of their son's life. She posted. I'm not a father and could never be a father. I'm a full woman. I could never teach my son how to be a real man, I wouldn't know where to start. That's why it's a must my baby daddy remain in my son's life. I'm a mother. On Mother's Day, I deserve to be praised, but on Father's Day, Zeus daddy 100% in his life and behind him, so he deserves all the praise. When Gaston and Layla's son turned one on July 1, 2021, she wanted to do something special for him. She loved her little boy Zeus, and she worked hard to make sure he had everything he needed. She showered him with lots of love, and his first birthday was a very special day for her. On July 1, 2021, Layla was preparing for her one-year-old's birthday. At some point she got into an argument with Gaston and went outside of the residence. Other residents reported that they could hear the two arguing and engaged in some sort of altercation. Layla called her mother and was on the phone with her mother when Gaston started to yell for her to get back inside the residence. Layla's mother then heard her call out mom. Mom. Then the line went dead. Neighbors reported that Gaston just started shooting Layla while she was holding their one-year-old son. He shot her four times. One of the bullets would hit his son in the ankle. 911 calls were made to Houston police around 10.30 in the morning, reporting gunshots at an apartment complex off West Park Drive in West Houston. Police responded to the scene of a shooting, they discovered a woman who had been shot four times and was in critical condition. Family members would later identify the victims as Layla Steele and her one-year-old son Zeus. 
first responders performed CPR on Layla as she was transported by ambulance to the hospital. They were able to get her pulse back, but tragically, she would not survive her injuries and would eventually be pronounced dead. One-year-old Zeus was transported to the hospital in stable condition with a gunshot wound to the leg. He went into surgery to repair his ankle. Gaston fled the scene on foot after the shooting. He was out on seven felony bonds at the time and also wearing an ankle monitor. Two witnesses at the apartment complex told investigators they heard arguing and saw the couple fighting over a backpack. One witness said they heard Gaston say, see what you finna make me do before pulling a black pistol on Layla as she held their child. Another witness told investigators they saw Gaston shoot Layla in the torso once, in which she collapsed to the ground and covered her son. That witness says Gaston stood over Layla and fired four to five more times. The witness said they observed Gaston hitting the victim in the head and they shouted at him to stop. That's when the witness said Gaston ran off, leaving the backpack and his ID behind. Now to a developing story. Police are searching for the shooter accused of killing a mother and wounding her young baby boy. Police say the mother was shot at least four times while holding her one-year-old son at the Apex at Royal Oaks apartment complex on uh, West Park Drive near Wilcrest. KPRC 2's Vincent Cavelli spoke to the victim's sister and joins us live with the very latest. Vince. Yeah, Lisa, good morning. The sister of the victim is outraged. She says the shooter is the baby's father who is out on bond. She says the justice system failed her family when he was released from jail. Shots fired, four bullets strike a mother while one hits her one-year-old son. I'm sad, but I'm angry. I'm more angry than I am sad. This is Jazz Kulavali. Her little sister, Layla Steele, was killed in the shooting. I raised her basically growing up. Steele's one-year-old son, Zeus, was shot in the leg. Today, he's undergoing surgery, according to Kulavali. But the hardest part is that my sister died and it could have been prevented. Detectives believe the killer is the baby's father, who has an ankle monitor and was out on seven major felony bonds. My sister had a protective order. He was arrested for violating the protective order, and that case was dismissed. Now my sister's dead. Police say the search for the boy's father continues at this hour, but now a warrant reveals what witnesses say they heard and saw when Layla Steele was killed. Our Taisha Walker's live for us now in West Chase with the newest developments. Taisha. We now know, Lauren, according to witnesses' account, that that couple, the victim, and the suspect were fighting over a backpack. Zacchaeus Gaston has two more charges on his already lengthy criminal history. The 27-year-old has been charged with murder and aggravated assault. A warrant issued for his arrest states he fatally shot his child's mother, 24-year-old Layla Steele, last week as she held their son. Steele's sister, Jasmine, says Harris County failed her sister by repeatedly granting Gaston bonds. Seven charges was not nothing. Maybe two more won't be anything either, so we just have to hold somebody accountable. Steele died protecting Zeus, who turned one on the day of the shooting. It was bittersweet as family celebrated his birthday yesterday without his mother. Maybe this will change. You know, them just letting convicted felons out over and over again. Seven times? No, unacceptable. Shirley Steele is Layla's mother. Court documents state the two were on the phone moments before the shooting. Shirley told investigators she heard Gaston curse at her daughter to get in the house. Layla yelled, quote, Ma, before the call disconnected. Two witnesses at the apartment complex told investigators they heard arguing and saw the couple fighting over a backpack. The witnesses say they saw Gaston use a pistol to shoot Layla six times as she was on the ground shooting their son. Gaston, who was wearing an ankle monitor, ran off and remains at large. And I feel like it, it won't be over, but some peace will come to us, you know, if he's caught dead or alive. Police searched for Gaston for two weeks after he shot and killed the mother of his child, before receiving an anonymous tip to Houston's Crime Stoppers tip line, identifying his location. Police located him and he was arrested on a Thursday at 12.40 a.m. and charged with murder and aggravated assault. And accused of murdering the mother of his child and injuring their baby in a shooting. Zacchaeus Gaston was only in front of a judge for a few minutes 
before he was led out of the courtroom. This is the second time this has happened. The judge just handed down new bond conditions for the 27-year-old suspected killer. And Gaston was removed from that courtroom again this morning. He was shouting at deputies who were attempting to bring him inside to go before that judge. Now, I was inside of the courtroom this morning. Zacchaeus uh, Gaston started shouting at those deputies, quote, I don't want to go in here, bro. The video shows the deputies struggling to lead him into the courtroom, but then he was immediately removed and went back into the hallway. Now, yesterday, there was a similar scene in the probable cause courtroom where the 27-year-old became argumentative and was removed from the hearing after several outbursts. I do not believe that this defendant uh, should be granted a bond at this point. Mr. Gaston, please don't speak. Gaston was escorted from probable cause court after several outbursts. Please remove Mr. Gaston from the courtroom, please. Prosecutors argued against a bond. I have concerns that the court itself will not ensure public safety based on prior decisions of that court. While the public defender asked bond be set at $100,000 for each charge. Under Article 1, Section 11A of the Texas Constitution, he is constitutionally entitled yeah. to the bond by this court. Due to the chaos Gaston caused during his court appearances, a judge increased his bond to $8 million. $3 million bond for an assault charge and a $5 million bond for the murder charge. Steele's family says Harris County disappointed them again. A relief was set on us a little bit, um, just a little bit though, because, I mean, he still went to court and got a bond. On the day of the shooting, Gaston was wearing an ankle monitor, but he removed it and cut the device off. Gaston was ordered to wear an ankle monitor on December 5, 2020, as a condition of his bond related to an aggravated assault charge, but when the agency learned that the case was dismissed, they stopped monitoring the GPS device. Prosecutors ask that Gaston be refused the use of an ankle monitor in the future, that he be prevented from communicating with Layla's family, and that he be denied the right to own or be in the presence of a handgun. This case is still ongoing. What Zuckayas did to Layla, the mother of his child, is unimaginable. To take her life in such a horrific way was cruel and heartless. Layla cared for him and wanted him to be a part of his child's life, and he had no regard for her life or the life of his son. My condolences to Layla's family. I'm sorry you must experience such pain and I hope in the end, you get justice. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.